My name is Wu Man. I play an instrument called pipa. It's a pear-shaped, a lute-like plucking instrument with four strings. Pipa existed in China about 2,000 years. Quite an old instrument. A lot of painting and poem talk about pipa. So my parents actually picked the pipa for me. They thought for girl the shape of the pipa very elegant, <laughs> just such such beautiful to hold. Of course, I have no choice. A very different education system in China. Become a professional musician is not my decision. I was nine years old, and I already knew that pipa will be, or music will be my, my career. I came to the United States in 1990. It was really shock for a young kid. I grew up with no other country's music. I want to challenge myself. I want to see um, how the musician's life outside of China, and how can I survive just play my traditional Chinese instrument. I really wanted to explore different kind of music to work with the different musicians. So 1999, Mr. Ma had the idea of, of Silk Road Project, and he asked me if I interested. I think this ensemble is very unique. First of all, we all came from a different cultural background. Secondly, we were all very young when we started. Um, many of the members, they were just got out from school and had no experience at all. <laughs> um, sort of, we grew up together as a musician and we're all very passionate about music as well as wanted to know other culture. I have a pipa and a shakuhachi on the bars 56. The, the pipa shakuhachi is before 56. So what is that, katanza? Every rehearsal process, I learned from all the other musicians. That's the spirit of this ensemble. Of course, there, there are challenges. The sound of each instrument is very different. I remember the first time I played with Mr. Ma, and his cello sounds a huge sound and played for the bigger concert hall without amplification. And for my instrument, a plucking instrument, very different color of the sound. And how can we play together? What is the balance? The coolest thing is that actually for the first time in my life, I'm actually seeing what Uman's talked about, is that the pipa and the oud <laughs> are actually together, yeah, side by side. <laughs> same it's color. Great. I know, I know, I don't know. <laughs> That's incredible. We caught it this morning. You did, huh? Yeah. It's a, it's a true <laughs> coordination. Definitely. It's, it's a band. I should yeah. cut my hair short. I think so, and wear glasses. <laughs> we can all make the Beatles. A lot of details during the rehearsal process we have to figure out. Definitely I changed the, the way I play the instrument, or I changed, or I gained the knowledge about how I deal with the different music styles. When you going back to play your own traditional music, you feel differently. You feel much makes sense to you, and you feel music actually all same, the language.
you know, people always mention the East meets the West. I always laughing at that because, well, global is round. So where is the East? Where is the West? It's just a different culture. I think I'm a very fortunate person. I had a chance to come live in the West, and I learned the both culture. That's the richest part for musician, for artist. There is no limitation. There is no box. Put myself there. I I don't like that. I want to just get out and see the world. <laughs>